Hey guys, me here. Um, man of Panda Pudding Pie. That's what my friend Lola calls me. Um, anyways, so this is the new look. Um, I don't really know why I decided to do this color combination. Well, I know why, but I don't really just know why I decided to do it this way. Anyway, get into it. Um, it's inspired by my high school colors. My high school colors are maroon, gold, and white. And, um, I don't know, I drove by it today and I saw candy, vintage tacky, odd vintage candy, or something like that. They had a week where they did inspiration looks from their high schools. So I thought it was a cool idea, so this is my high school inspiration. It's also kind of a mock entry for my contest. Because I really only use two colors, technically. Actually... Free, not a lie, I use a highlight. But anyway, I'll get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take MAC Artifact Paint Pot, which is a gorgeous, like, burgundy color. And I'm just going to take my SS194, um, which they say is a concealer brush, but uh, I used it for a paint pot. I'm just going to get some on your paint, on your brush. And this is just going on the lid. It's not going anywhere in the crease, just on the lid. I am in love with this paint pot. I don't use it enough. I love Artifact Paint Pot. It is so pretty. Gotta go back and get a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm also going to take a little bit and line it like right underneath your eye with it. Okay. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take um, this is maroon pigment. I got this as a sample from thebodyneeds.com and I'm going to take that on my SS239 and just pat a little on it, tap off the excess and you guys seriously just wait till this maroon pigment goes on top of this artifact paint pot. You're going to be amazed. Ready? Here we go. turns this amazing shade of dark purple maroon. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape. Yeah, I know this is ghetto, but anyway. going to take I kind of want to make it a little bit even. Yeah, that should be about right. Okay. So I'm going to take the SS... What is this? This is the SS275. And I'm going to take it and get my stowaways quad. I'm going to take this color right here, which is called Crest the Wave. I think. Yeah, Crest the Wave. And I'm going to get it a little on this brush. You're going to turn it. Since it's angled, you're going to do the taller part towards the outside of your eye. And just go in. And then once you get to the inner crease, just kind of cut it in. So you just want to kind of feather it out. And then cut it down in the crease. 
And if you want to, you can just kind of, I kind of just blend it along this line a little bit just to soften it. Okay. Let me put my cat back on maroon pigment before it spills everywhere, which I am loving this pigment. I'm going to put my cat back on Artifact so it doesn't dry out. Then I'm just going to take Golden Lemon Pigment, which is another pigment sample I got, which I love too. On that same brush, just in the cap, just swish it around. Tap off the excess. And the same thing, just go over that. Blending it out. Okay. Another thing I did was I'm going to take a NYX Jumbo Pencil. And if you don't have like a yellow color or something like that, just because I thought it looked more yellow, it didn't look quite gold enough for me. This is NYX Jumbo Pencil in gold. I'm just going to take the end of the brush and just get a little bit on the brush. And literally kind of paint over it okay then I'm gonna take SS 224 which is the big fluffy brush and just kind of blend out the lines if you have any left and then kind of blend, blend it down in there the one thing you want to do is you really want to blend into that corner of the eye. So I'm just going to take some more, a little bit more maroon pigment and blend it right there in that corner and underneath. Okay. Now the last step I'm going to do is I'm going to take the SS209, which is an eyeliner brush, dip that into a little bit of the maroon pigment. And very gently and light-handedly, I'm just going to, because I wanted a little fade from the gold because it didn't really look, just very gently and light-handedly draw along this tape line. Okay. There. Go back to your 224 or you can go back to the 275, whatever you want to do, and I'm just going to blend this into the gold, and you'll see when we pull the tape off, it still kind of has that, yet that shadow gradient, and I'll pull the tape off now so you can see it, and see how it just kind of goes gradiently. I'll try out the contour brush simply because I haven't tried it out yet. Want to see how it works? You guys don't mind being my guinea pigs, do you? I'm gonna take this and go into Emote, which is a chocolatey. Well, you can really tell a difference. And then I'll just for craps and giggles, we'll put Pink Swoon as the blush. Ooh, too much. brush is like the softest brush so guys that's the look 
Um, I don't know if you can tell a difference in my hair, but I colored my hair last night. It's supposed to be burgundy, but I don't see it. But tell me what you guys think, okay? Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.